Welcome to the Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report for October 26th, brought to you by Neogen, a world leader in providing food and animal safety solutions. This week's headlines, new mycotoxin report, drought causes dust in high plains, corn harvest far ahead of averages. The USDA's October 20th bulletin reported higher than normal temperatures in the southwest, southern high plains, and southern Atlantic. Cooler temperatures were experienced in upper Montana, extending to the upper Great Lakes. Precipitation fell in the northern part of the country, reducing the effects of the drought in the northeast. Relatively dry weather in the Gulf states created better conditions for crop maturity and harvest. However, drought continues to intensify in the southwest and high plains. This fueled wildfires in the west and kicked up dust across parts of the high plains. Corn development is highly variable within some fields. 97% of corn is mature, 15 points ahead of last year and 3 points ahead of the 5 year average. 60% of corn is harvested, 32 points ahead of last year and 17 points ahead of the 5 year average. 61% of corn is in good to excellent condition, the same as last week but 5 points ahead of last year. Corn harvest progress by state is as follows. Here are the states with the highest good to excellent ratings, as well as the states with the highest poor to very poor ratings. We have a report of Don in spring wheat in North Dakota, along with reports in wheat. We have reports of aflatoxin in new crop corn in the following states. We have a new report of fumonisin in corn in Kansas along with prior reports. Thank you for viewing our Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report. We appreciate your feedback and being part of our Mycotoxin Reporting Network. Feel free to contact us with questions or comments. We urge you to encourage others to sign up for our reports via the link in the description below. Have a safe and productive harvest season.